you go guys, we're back at it with some Dead by Daylight fun, and honestly, I kind of wish I had um, all those back. <laughs> Maybe I'll get a one day in the shrine. Like, I just want more than just a little paintbrush. Maybe there'll, like, there'll be something like if I add like codes or something. Do we have codes? Oh, okay, never mind. <laughs> Imagine if I was like a code for like streaming. That would be so cool. Get like a Twitch banner and everything. Yeah, that that would be so cool. facing the one with traps okay it's been a while since I've faced off against what is it skull merchant that's good this is gonna be fun but it's been forever since I've faced off against her maybe I'll be able to escape okay nope I'm gonna be in trouble How much can easily hide things around, no problem, when this map. Oh, fuck off! No! Oh, no! It got the gen blocking. Not gen blocking. Power blocking! Burn! Fuck! Oh, right in front of that gen, I was working on as well. That was just mean. for the speed boost, sucker!
why don't you run off? Oof, that was close. Eh, distraction. I know it was uh, like a super plan, but I was not supposed to know she was around the corner. Oh, okay, basement, seriously? Alright. Iron Zaku asked me, what do you think of the Cat in the Hat movie with Mike Myers? What? Ah, the Cat in the Hat, you say. Well, it's certainly something, isn't it? Mike Myers in that feline getup is quite the sight. If I had to describe it in one word, it would be chaotic. The humor is a bit, shall we say, juvenile for my taste. But I suppose that's the point. It's not exactly my cup of blood, but if it makes you laugh, who am I to judge Bat? The Cat in the Hat with Mike Myers. That is uh, quite, quite a terrifying combination. The cat is already a feline abomination already. Oh, God. 
I don't want to imagine that. But cat in the hat. Mac, Mike Myers is the cat in the hat. That is a crossover not, not many want to see. How are you talking? You doing all right? Oh, he's got a bag on. I thought that was like they were carrying someone then. Is that a perk? Oh, come on! Oh! How did they catch up so quickly? Okay, my death. How the hell though did you put that on me? up yeah who the hell did you ask for that Lizzo you asked someone new wow that was unexpected <laughs> I'm guessing you're now lurking in the shadows, biding your time for the next one. Hey, we're playing with L! Who knew characters from Death Note playing Dead by Daylight? That makes scenes when um, he was smitten with uh, Light's girlfriend, whatever her name was, I forgot. Uh, completely different. <laughs> now, what's the name of um, that female character uh, in Death Note? Oh, what's her name? Oh. Oh, that's gonna bug me. I want to say Mikasa, but that's Attack on Titan.
Uh, also good. Question. Ian Zaku asked me, quick question, what do you think is the worst Disney plus Marvel show in the MCU is our, our let's delve into the world of superheroes. When exploring the Disney plus Marvel shows in the MCU, one that stands out for its lackluster execution is Iron Fist. The series failed to capture the excitement and intrigue of its comic book counterpart, leading it to be oh, widely cow. regarded as one of the weakest entries in the MCU. The pacing fight choreography and character development left much to be desired, resulting in a less than stellar reception from fans and critics alike. An unfortunate misstep in the Marvel Cinematic Universe indeed. While it is an MCU movie, it's not a Disney Plus movie that... Movie? TV series. That is Netflix. And uh, while I agree, yes, Iron Fist is definitely the, the weakest. Not that I've seen it, it definitely is, for what I've heard, the weakest. David Attenborough, I think you're not really fully paying attention. I almost said she hope well. Uh, I guess she hope got something good for it if David Attenborough says it's not the weakest. Uh, why don't you ask me about AI? So get their opinions. Maybe David Attenborough is um, just not as adept as the MCU. So I just realized if you were to like pick someone called like so if you were to pick like an AI to ask that question, I would feel like Joe Biden would not even give you a Marvel movie. <laughs> but that's my fault. Iron Zaku asked me, what is the worst Disney Plus Marvel show in the MCU, not counting the Netflix shows? Oh, joy, another discussion about Marvel shows. If we're excluding the Netflix series, then Inhumans takes the cake for worst Disney Plus Marvel show in the MCU. The production was a disaster, the script laughable, and the characters were as flat as a plankton. It's like they weren't even trying. Absolutely dreadful. There. I said it. <laughs> okay, Squidward. He's not wrong. He's technically not wrong because they were going to have a TV series. And episode one bombed so hard that they didn't even attempt to continue. <laughs> Oh god, Squidward really unlocked a memory there of like the Inhuman series. I, I like they were trying to be like with classic Inhumans back then. Uh, especially since like um, especially like um, since the Inhumans were a part of Marvel's Agents of Shield for quite a bit, considering it was um. 
they were trying to get um, the humans to be their version of the X-Men because it was uh, because they didn't have the right to the X-Men at the time. There we go. Now I can, I can. It's just locked in my brain now that the Inhumans were part of the MCU at once upon a time. But understandable, yeah, the, the Inhumans were done because Marvel didn't have the rights to the X Men back then. But, um,. Inhumans were their own thing. You can't exactly make them a copy and paste of the X Men just because um, you want the X Men. You can't turn your Inhumans into knockoff X Men. Iron Zaku asked me, What are your thoughts on the HBO show Velma? I heard it's a complete disaster. Well, let me tell you, I've seen a lot of shows, some great, some not so great, but Velma. Total disaster. Believe me, folks, it's a mess. The story is all over the place. Terrible writing. Absolutely. No coherence. They tried to do something different, but it just didn't work. It's fake news, really. Trying to reinvent a classic, but failing bigly. Stick to the good stuff. Trust me. Uh, I'll actually say, this is the first time Donald Trump is actually telling the truth. Velma is a, an utter disaster. They need to give up on it. I have no idea what's going to happen to Halloween because they're teasing Velma's return in Halloween. Especially in the end of the, of the second season. Why, why as well did you get greenlit? for a second season. Wanted to go and save them. Oh yeah. I wanted to go save. Them. I thought that's what Nightmare was gonna go do. Oh. Poor me. I tried, I tried, I tried. I wanted to. Because hearing I felt like I was doing well nothing. Alright. But yeah, what Donald Trump said kinda of reminded me as well that that Scooby Doo is coming back with a new series. Not like Velma, hurrah, though. 
that is left to be seen, honestly. Cause um because <laughs> of Velma. Might ruin the Velma character quite a bit. But I believe the new Scooby Doo series is based upon um Um like anime. Like it's ever it's heavily anime inspired apparently. I, I, I don't know why a lot of people think that. Maybe because there's like a lot of Japanese monsters. Um, or Japanese fiend type monsters within, supposed to be in this. Okay, we're playing against the Mastermind. Do we face off against him in my PC version already? Why am I getting teased of him? Um, which, I'm also going to give that a try. If it's based upon anime, it should do well. Take a lot. Uh, there's a lot of anime series out there. The anime series, cartoon series, are based upon anime. I've done humendously well. So I want. I want to bet. I want to bet on it. I want. I want to say it's going to be grand. The the new Scooby Doo series. Knockout because I don't see him. Oh no, it's not knocked out. Oh, why, why the screen? Okay, the person's down, but I still can't see him. Definitely knockout. It's over there. We're fine, we're fine. As long as it is coming this way. Purple. I'm being bold doing the gen here, but I feel right. 
here's a quick question for you guys. What do you think is the best Scooby-Doo series out there? Like, what is one of your top three Scooby-Doo's if you can't pick an all-time favorite? Like, for me, it has to be Scooby-Doo Mystery Incorporate, What's New Scooby-Doo, and the original. Those are, like, my top three. Not in that particular order. Because the only one that comes to mind is Mystery Incorporated. Oh, definitely. Ooh, ooh, boy! that yeah he does have knockout I knew it Iron Zaku asked me what would you say is the worst live-action adaption of a video game turned into a TV show? Oh man, we're diving into the abyss now. The worst live-action adaptation of a video game into a TV show that has to be Resident Evil on Netflix. What a chaotic mind! Melting disaster! It's like they took the game, threw logic out the window and said, Screw it! Let's make a monstrosity! The writing was all over the place. Characters felt like hollow shells and don't even get me started on the plot. It's a fever dream gone wrong. I can understand that. I know a lot of people have some hate for the Resident Evil games. Not the games, the TV series. I heard a lot of hate. Uh, for it. I never really went looking into it myself. Uh, because I don't watch the Resident Evil games. Why is it so hard to find them when they're knocked out? He had to knock everyone out. He had to, for God's sake. Never heard AI Nick Cage that mad. <laughs> this is what happens when you go exploring. Still can't find everyone out, for God's sake. Trust me, the Netflix show is so bad, the cringe will make you so leave your body in the worst way possible. It already did do that. It's called Boca no Pico. <laughs> He's still in the area. Is he waiting for me to get him second phase? He is, isn't he? There we go. Never say that name again. Do like. Oh.
no, just just end it. End the suffering. Pressure so much, you have to slug. What was the point? What was the point? Why is that? I, I, I'm just having a quick look through like the um, the tangy, whatever it's called. And wh why do I have the seagulls going mine, 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 mine? Make your own Discord notification. ASMR to R two D two text to speech. How do you do an R two D two text to speech? How is that possible? Joker? Yeah, okay. sound but clip must be the from the same twitch channel huh like okay just looking at some of the stuff that you guys can do with the bits it is kind of cool um, need blood points, I'm broke. We're against, uh, dredge speed. Alright, no problem. I'll make sure, um, you survive as long as possible. I'll make sure I go to, I'll make sure, um, uh, I go to you for heals. Why did no one lock that locker? Okay, he went to he went teleporting to lockers. Okay. Oh. Wait, why didn't you put me on that hook? What? Why this Hulk in particular? He walked past the Hulk.
Oh no. Help me down! Alright, heels please! Hey! What are you doing? You wanted blood points! Oh no! Dude! Now you hear me.
Help! Iron Zaku asked me, so Dr. Phil, what is the most overrated Disney animated movie of all time is? Well, Iron Zaku, if we're talking overrated Disney movies, let's get real here. Frozen is the one that comes to mind. Sure, Let It Go is catchy, but come on, folks, it's been played to death. The story is pretty basic, and the whole true love twist. Not exactly groundbreaking. It's like Disney threw a bunch of glitter on a standard formula and called it a day. So, yeah, let's maybe just let it go. I gotta admit, Frozen is a bit overrated. When I watched it, I didn't really um, fully understand how this was a popular thing. I, I never really understood it. I could never understand why Frozen was so popular what it is. The most fun... You had to end it with those... Yeah. Well, it's Dr. Phil. He should be quite a troll. When he wants to be. And when it comes to... Like, the main thing I find funny about Doc, about Frozen was the parodies. Let it go. The let, parodies on the Let It Go song. They were more funny. Like, I remember in college, when it came out, we were having fun laughing away at the parody songs on Frozen. Now, don't get me wrong, I did end up watching Frozen in the cinema, but that was more for my mum. She, she enjoyed it, and I was happy for her for that. Because I think that was like the last movie she ever went to see in the cinema. At least she enjoyed herself. Me, I was like, yeah, okay, yeah, this is how this is entertaining. And why is it still so popular? I don't, I don't get it. I honestly don't, guys. Avon Avenger. Love that name. Love it. Alright guys, I'm gonna leave the stream at there, because it's time for me to go to work. Uh, GG's to you! Uh, Apple... Apple second? Apple second? Apple. <laughs> uh, thanks for the escape, I need to... Do that. Yay! Do I finally have like a backdrop? I finally have a backdrop! Yay! Who is the weakest character? Iron Zaku asked me, who is the weakest character in fiction that can beat Elsa from Frozen with little to no effect? In the vast realm of fiction, a character who could defeat Elsa from Frozen with minimal effort might be SpongeBob SquarePants. Despite his seemingly carefree nature, SpongeBob possesses reality warping abilities and a knack for absurdly effective solutions. Elsa's icy powers would likely hold little sway over his cartoonish resilience, making this encounter a whimsical mismatch in favour of the porous and resilient sponge from Bikini Bottom. Fair argument, yes, SpongeBob has been known to somehow warp reality placing point doodle bob and uh, is bubbles but i like to point out the winter episode of um spongebob in the very first uh, things when he went to go and see sandy it was winter time in her dome and while yes while in a snowy area he'd be able to breathe as if it was like underwater the main problem is that he would 
still struggle. Yes, all right, he can manipulate sand into anything, but sand and snow are completely different. He's not been shown to have that kind of ability within snow. So, while Elsa, yeah, it's ice and all that. Ice included. SpongeBob, as far as I know, has not had any interactions with ice. So, it's anyone's game when it comes to SpongeBob. If you want to ask me, like, if any character who can take on Elsa with no effort and win, it would definitely be the Human Torch from Marvel. If we want a character that will, um, the weakest, Mega Man from Kona Sova. <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm gonna. Uh, knock off there and head off to work. Thank you for everyone who joined into the chat. Thank you, Anzai, for all those interesting AI questions, as, as usual. Glad to see you're still enjoying it. So I'm going to head off to work. So until next time, this is me, signing out. Bye-bye.